Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Can you spot the hidden puppy dog? Hint. Oh, you just moved, Pixie. We we're just like... She decided to help me with this question that came into the chat room earlier from one of our chatters at live.perlo.com. Raw format versus JPEG. And this question is specifically related to the image format that some digital cameras give you the option of using. And okay, Pixie was apparently bored with that question. Uh, most digital cameras, at least in the prosumer to consumer range, don't have the raw option in terms of a format. Uh, they only save out as JPEGs. And as far as you know, that's concerned, JPEG is just fine for what a lot of people need from a digital camera. It is a lossy format, meaning that some information is lost, whereas raw, well, when you take a picture with a, a digital camera, it's compressed because it's got to save space. Raw doesn't compress it at all. More importantly, no processing actually takes place on the camera when it's captured into the raw format. It's essentially passed from the sensor directly to a file. Why would you do that? Well, most photographers, professional photographers, like processing all their photos on their computer. They don't want the camera to do anything with it, and that's the advantage of RAW. Unfortunately, uh, manufacturers of cameras can't really standardize on a RAW format. Even more to that point, um, some manufacturers have already dropped support for older versions of their RAW formats. So what's that mean? Uh, as far as you're concerned, when you take the picture, just save it as a JPEG. You know, I, I, can, I can't imagine 50 years from now, there not being utility that will view JPEGs. I, I just can't. I mean, we, we're, 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 we save these files in these formats, and there's a question of, are they going to be viewable at some point in the future? Uh, well, hopefully, yeah, but JPEG is so ubiquitous with digital cameras, I just don't see it being replaced anytime soon, or at least if it is replaced, not without some amount of backwards compatibility in place. It, it's it's equivalent in, in audio files. Um, some people prefer WAV files or FLAC files because they're uncompressed, a higher quality compared to MP3. But the MP3 format is so ubiquitous that not supporting it is just insane. So RAW versus JPEG. RAW, if you really want to tweak most of your photos on the computer uh, you want to, and, and then be able to go back to the original without any compression whatsoever, that's the way you would go. But as I said, 99% of the people on the planet, more importantly, 99% of the people who use digital cameras are going to be just as satisfied with JPEGs, and they probably don't even have the option to save as RAW. Is it something worth buying? You know, there are some people who say it's not the kind of camera that you purchase, it's what you do with it. And I guess I'm one of those believers. What do you guys think? Do you use RAW or are you with JPEG?